Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over our Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal services, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and this has been a horrible day for the stock market. So first of all, just in general, the stock market has been absolutely rallying since the bottom here. So to see occasional major pullbacks like this one, this one, this one, this one, and probably also this one, we are not there yet because the 50 moving average is holding, that should not be um, strange for anybody because the rally of um, of um, the bottom here in the in in basically in in March last year we have basically been constantly rallying so the governments around the world especially the United States government federal serve and so on have basically been pumping up this market and uh, that has basically basically uh, made most of these companies significantly, or their stocks significantly overvalued. If you look at uh, uh, different stocks' uh, PE ratio, they are just absolutely out of this world. They're up in in, uh, in hundreds and thousands. You usually used to look at the company with a PE ratio of twenty, and then you say, no, that's really expensive. Now you have a company that is basically a hundred and higher than that, and that is just getting into ridiculous levels. So at some point people will start selling this and uh, they will the stocks will come back to uh, some sort of, uh, of uh, normality if that is technically possible but um, at this point we're going to look at what basically happened here in the uh, in the S&P 500 and you can see we are down roughly uh, roughly 2% but we hit the 50 moving average at 3812 and bounced from there so 50 moving average is still holding, and um, that is a very positive sign. However, these technical indicators are looking uh, terrible for the S&P 500. So the question is whether or not if this basically breaks, how far this could go to the downside. Because if you look at these technical indicators, everything is pointing to lower levels. So we have definitely, we are still in this, technically this channel, but if the 50 breaks, that we could get this could get really nasty. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, we can get up here. So we back down here when we basically fell, we fell towards the first Fibonacci retracements. So that's at 3,683. We could fall to that same level if uh, the 50 moving average breaks. We could fall down to this level, and that will offer quite a lot of support. If that breaks, we could go to the 50, that is down at 3,600, give or take, and then all the way down to the 61.8 at 3,500. And that should offer a significant support. There are probably, if we ever get down to this level here, and then we are basically at the previous highs here, and we have the 200 moving average moving this direction as well. So there is um, several areas where this could fall to if the 50 moving average breaks. So we'll technically see in tomorrow's session whether or not we rally from here. Something says that that this is a major warning for the S&P 500, and we could see something similar to this, where we fall at least uh, a few hundred points underneath the 50 moving average before we rally. So we're still in an uptrend, but occasionally we will see these pullbacks, probably not as massive as this one and this one, uh, but we will see pullbacks towards the 50 and probably break the 50 and then rally. So 4,000 is still the target, but that probably will take much longer than expected. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So same thing here, we dropped roughly 1.5% or two, roughly 2%. We got to uh, 32,000 and then dropped towards the 20 exponential moving average and then bounced from there. 
Tech new indicators for the Dow Jones um, are also turning around. Sentiment for uh, the Dow Jones is very bearish at this point. So if you look at uh, what people are voting on, whether or not this is going to go up or go down, the majority of people are uh, are voting that this will basically go down in the in the short term. So we could see this fall towards the 50 moving average at the 30,800 okay, or 900. If that breaks, then we could see this go all the way down towards 30,000. That's probably as far as this will go at this point. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement here, see how far we could go. And we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is around this area of 30,000 and 29,000. Break below that opens the door to the 50 at 29,000. Uh, and then we have 28,300. And that is also the previous highs here. So that is most likely where we'll drop if we break the 50 moving average. But still, the 20 is holding. And a rally from here will take us most likely towards 32,500. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Sorry. So as you can see, NASDAQ basically fell off a cliff. So the companies that have been hit hardest by this pullback have been the tech companies. If you look at Tesla and you look at Neon and other companies that have been rallying hundreds of percent the last year, they got really hammered. I think Tesla's down around 10%, Neon's around, uh, around 11% or more than that. And uh, yes, we got a massive warning two days ago when we had this fall. I think Neon was down 15% when the market, uh, after a few minutes after the market opened, and that was a very big warning. It then rallied, and now we broke back down again. So at this point, we have found support right here. So this is 12,784. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements if that gives us indication how far this could go. So we are testing the first Fibonacci retracement. That's why we basically bounced from here. So this is a 38.2. If this breaks, we could go to the 50. So that is 12,453. And then we could go towards 12,100, give or take. So that is also the previous highs over here. And we'll also test the previous highs over here. That's the 50. And then we'll run into that. After that, we'll run into these previous highs. And that should offer... Um, significant support. We'll also have the 200 moving average moving this way, and that will also act as support. We haven't tested the uh, 200 moving average for an extremely long time. You can just see the distance between the 50 and the 200 moving average. It's substantial, and that basically should be a warning that at some point we need a pullback. So we'll see something similar to this, where there is less distance between these moving averages. So at this point, technical indicators, they are extremely bearish. We are almost on the edge of being oversold. So we can look back towards what basically happened in these pullbacks here that we got an RSI that is roughly is basically dead either higher. But down here, it was roughly, give or take, 23 when we are nearly at the bottom of, uh, of this uh, pullback in March last year, and when the pandemic basically started. So we are quite far off those RSI numbers. We could fall even further, considering that. But yes, we'll see. 20 Exponential offered massive, um, massive resistance. That's why we basically fell here. We tried to rally, didn't break through that, and then broke down. We have... Um, created a significant resistance line here that we have to break through. We didn't then get through that. We tested the 20, but did not get to that resistance line. And yes, we'll probably do that um, in the coming days. But at this point, when the market is falling this uh, extreme, it's often better to just stay on the sidelines and um, look what is going to happen. To jump into the market here is extremely uh, risky uh, because it can basically uh, ruin your account. So let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, I'm sorry, the, uh, the DAX. So 
Similar thing here in the DAX, we fell all the way down towards the 50 and broke the 50 and now we're trading at 13,783. So uh, we have basically stopped underneath the 50 and that is also a very bearish sign at this point. Technically, Nikodesh, they are all turning around and um, yes, we could fall significantly lower. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for, for the DAX, we can see that we can fall all the way down towards uh, 13,118 before we find the first uh, real, uh, we have first Fibonacci retracement. That's also the previous um, highs over here and the lows over here. And we have the 200 moving average right here. So we'll probably not drop further than that. That would should be very surprising if we did. Last night we had a major pullback. We fell down towards 13,300. And that is also going to offer massive support when we get towards that area. That is the previous highs here and the previous highs over here. So, yes, uh, this will most likely be where it will go maximum if nothing else basically happens at this point. We're getting, uh, we are at 1646 in the RSI. Other technical leaders are turning around. So, if you get another red candlestick here tomorrow, then we'll probably go and target these very lows. Rallies from here, we need to break the 50 and 20 in order to go back towards these very highs. So let's look at the UK 100. So also here, we did rally yesterday. It looked really promising. And today we did rally and then we basically fell off a cliff. We're trading underneath the 20 and the, and the, and the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this point. So they're not as bearish as they are for the NAS, uh, for NASDAQ and uh, the S&P 100. But we had quite a lot of uh, a big pullback here. So we could fall back towards this previous uh, support level. And that is at 6,500. Underneath that, we have the uh, 6,350 and then the 200 moving average, which should offer massive support. So to the upside, if we break the, above the 50 moving average, we could go to these previous highs here at 6,700 or 800, and then towards the 6,923 level. So yes, it is basically back and forward in the in the UK 100, and it is fairly difficult to trade when you're basically right in the middle of things. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to hear our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.